everyone, my name is Dolako of Dolly Bree Crafties. So we're going to be learning how to make a beautiful fascinator as you can see on the screen. These are the batteries I have or how we're working with. I have my molded hatinator base, can you see? I molded this with patterned paper mat. This is patterned paper mat. Molded, I, I stiffened and I've unblocked it. This is the hat block I used for molding this. I have other materials like my crinoline. My crinoline, the width is about 7 inches and I have about 3 yards here. I may not finish it off. My UHU gum, I have my measuring tape, I have my art wire, this is the regular art wire, not the strong one. I have bias strip, thread, glue gun, I have needle and then some office space. This may actually be optional. And I have my plier. This is to cut my hat wire. And these are accessories. These are trimmings. These are types of accessories I have. And this is a fabric rose. So I'm going to be deciding on which one I will be using. Either this or this. I will decide on that while working. We also need our scissors. I also have Harley's band. You can make use of elastic band if you want to. I have um, cinnamon bias strips I want to embellish my earpiece with. I have this feather. There's another material I didn't mention at this point. I'm going to show you later on in the video. First and the most important thing you need to do is to mold your base. And this is what I've got after it is dry. Now, after blocking, now we are unblocked using our pencil. Sorry, I forgot to mention that we'll be needing pencil. Or is our pencil anything you know you want you can actually draft your pattern with I'm going to be drafting a love shape it's a free hand thing I'm going to be drafting a love shape like that so you need to know how to draw when it comes to stuff like this just draft a love shape it may not be a perfect one but just try it's like a love love shape so can you see what i did like this right here and all right as you can see i've drafted a love shape can you see the signs in my pencil marks i drafted a love shape like that Okay, it's good to use pencil so, because you can actually use your eraser to take off any mark you have that has that is like a mistake. Okay, you can just always use your pencil to, I mean your eraser to take it off neatly. So having done that, we are going to cut out this shape. Shape. Can you see? I'm not shape. Okay, so this part is like the crown of this our uh, piece. It's like the crown. All right. So the next step is for us to attach our hat wire. So I'm using the regular hat wire. I'm going to just uh, use my measuring tape to measure. Starting from this curve, I just measure what I what will be required. I'm going to add one and a half inches for my wire to overlap. I will do 28 inches. Okay, so I'll be cutting out my wire using the length 28 inches. I'm going to start from here. I prefer to start from here because we don't have too much curves here rather than starting from here. Start when I get here, I do a curve 
just bend your wire to follow the shape like that okay when you get here you bend it let me just sew up to this point so i can show you now i've sewn my wire to my uh, base point up to this point so i'm just going to take it through like that okay and i note where i'm going to be bending my wire so you just bend you can use your bent nose plier if you have one or use your regular plier to bend it there or curve it there so that it will be like a perfect curve for you so then from here we we'll continue to bend to follow that love shape to form the love shape i hope you understand okay. so i'm your wire let it have that shape can you see so i will just continue to sew continue to sew i take my needle through like that and continue to sew yes you can use a long plier or your bent nose plier to do that can you see i bent it all right friends i'm done sewing my wire to her fascinator base and um, the next step is for us to design with crinoline so i have my crinoline like i said earlier it's um three yards then the width seven inches so we're going to fold in half we're going to fold in half and we're going to tie the end And I'm going to be using my UHU glue to seal the ends up just to secure it like that. On this part of the base, I what I just did was to bend the wire upward. Just bend it upward like that. Can you see? So I'll start sewing my crinoline to it. And from here, I'll just tack the end of my crinoline to my base following the shape of my base. When I get here, I'm going to just pleat once. I'm pleating it once so that it will blend, it will sit properly there, okay? It's part of the base. Just do a pleat and I'll continue to sew. So I'm going to continue to sew like that. I'll continue to sew like that till I get now. So my crinoline. Before I continue, this part where I have this curve, that's the love curve. I'm going to just um, like this and pleat. You pull like that and secure it. I cut off the excess thread there then on this part I just measure about um, 15 inches or 20 let me just do 15 inches 
and I'm going to cut off the excess. All right, so from here, I'm going to start sewing those stitches. Sewing those stitches.